This bit of video gossip was made public yesterday and it shows Melania doing one of her many smile for the cameras, followed by rejection, revulsion or disgust only seconds later and immediately leads to speculation about just what are her true feelings about the orange menace and about her marriage to him. First, I'll say that based on what I've been able to surmise from reading news reports detailing how she thinks and what her worldview is likely to be, I think if you're one of those people who think she's just married to the Donald for his money, but that really she is a lot more enlightened than he is, I would say at most you are partly right from the money angle, but completely incorrect on her value system. Her leaked comments at various times reveal that she either thinks about things pretty much exactly the same way her portly husband does, or else she has pretty much adopted his world view over the years and now simply parrots it out whenever needed. That said, the money part and her possible orientation toward strong self-interest is a totally different story because in that arena, the chart signals pretty clearly that even if she is married to someone who might qualify as the most selfish man in history, she too is looking out for number one. And by number one, I don't mean Donald, I mean Melania, which could perhaps be as we would expect since there's a pretty reliable life rule that tells you birds of a feather flock together. And my feeling is, on that account, these two birds are pretty similar. When you have four planets in Taurus, including the Sun and Venus, its ruler, money and resources are going to be anything from super important to absolutely imperative. And even if you say her marriage to someone with a lot of dough takes care of that impulse, when you see that she most likely has a Capricorn moon, you begin to realize she is going to be quite strategic in calculating her long-term prospects. A Scorpio Jupiter adds shrewd energy into the equation and six out of 11 planets are in the Earth element to further emphasize material practicality. Plus, a T-square made by Moon, Eris, and Uranus tells you she is more than capable of going her own way and looking out for number one with skill and determination. Which, of course, brings us to the question of those rumors about possibly divorcing the Orange Menace. A time of birth would be really useful to fine-tune these thoughts, but even without it, I gotta say it's pretty striking to see that during 2021 and into early 22, divorce-prone Uranus is transiting in conjunction to her Saturn-Sun-Taurus conjunction. But, of course, Saturn is also very much in play, squaring those two points from Aquarius setting up the classic conflict between Saturnian security and Uranian impulses to bolt and go your own way. But the thing is that in this chart, Uranus is quite demanding being part of that T-square. And if it starts to gain the upper hand in the conflict, Saturn turns into that which reminds you of the restrictions and the aversions in your situations, at which point you could easily see the Uranian separation patterns emerge. Without a doubt, Uranus is a planet very frequently associated with relational ruptures, separations, and divorces, and it's going to be around in her cycles for several more years. Next year, together with Saturn, as that planet puts pressure on those late Taurus planets, but Saturn does leave in the spring of 23, and Uranus will stick around in Taurus until 2026, so that for two plus years, it will be conjoining Mercury and especially Venus. So one pretty good guess, is that 2024 and 2025 become years when the marriage might be most vulnerable, especially if Venus, aside from being a natural relationship planet, happens to be connected to the marriage house in her chart. Mars connected to that house would also be problematic since Saturn is going to be squaring it in 2023. And all those Taurus planets of hers don't exactly line up too well with her goofball husbands because the Sun and Saturn square his Pluto and the other two square his Mars. Great formula for some initial excitement, soon followed by lots and lots of potential conflict. And we have to realize that when her late planets get hit by anything, so does his late Leo Mars and Ascendant, which makes it the kind of shared moment that could lead to a breakup. Finally, the cardinal T-square made by Moon Uranus Eris is right in there cranking away at Trump's Access Hollywood T-square. This could be really explosive if it gets turned on by planets at a point where things are in any way disintegrating. And for that, you would point to Saturn in 2026, 2027 and to Neptune 
from 2025 until pretty much the end of the decade. So in summary, you can see that there is plenty of present, upcoming, and long-term runway for this union to run into disruption and for Melania to take Donald to the cleaners.